John Lavelle here on uh, subject is bicycle lanes. Uh, down the city, uh, I guess it's hard for the bicyclers to get down the streets with all the cars and that, but uh, my contention was always that they should ride on the sidewalk, but uh, apparently that's against the law. So they're forced to drive on the road and then uh, to accommodate uh, the bicycler they put in bike lanes, it's about a three to four foot line <clears throat> just before the curb uh, which they can ride in. Fine, now here's the problem with putting bike lanes down the city is uh, a lot of the shops, uh, mom and pop shops that have been there for years and years, it was their livelihood. It could be a little bakery or say a barber shop or whatever. Basically have to get, leave, the, the business is over because uh, there are no customers anymore because there's no parking and uh, also that we can accommodate a handful of bicyclers and uh, it's a shame because these people had uh, built these bu these businesses up and uh, you know it's for feeding their family and uh, putting a roof over your head it was important to see so all we've done is that we, we again kill, found another way to kill employment to uh, 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 satisfy a small group of people and the reason why it's done is just basically uh, governments are usually ignorant on most issues and can't see the see uh, the results of any of their decisions and it's usually done to get grab some votes and that's a shame that politics runs that way because uh, when unemployment starts it runs like a cancer and uh, and the, these people now don't have the income they used to have uh, therefore they don't go out and spend any money so uh, let's say they were going to buy furniture that store doesn't uh, sell them furniture anymore and then now they have uh, issues of employment uh, where they can't hire as many people because there's many people coming in to buy the furniture and then the ma furniture manufacturers the shippers all the uh, administrative end of it and uh, uh, everybody loses and, and it becomes an epidemic uh, once those people lose their jobs now we're not buying cars anymore we're not buying you know lawn furniture it just keeps going and going so we seem to find every single way we can cancel out uh, employment uh, it's a shame that uh, it's for a couple of votes the country's going to go uh, it's going to go if they don't start uh, uh, my contention was that it's always riding on the sidewalk anyways, that's where it's safe. Uh, this riding on the road is crazy. I wouldn't let my kids ride on the road and I, I won't ride on the road myself because I know I've been uh, damn near hit on the road. <clears throat> the roads are for cars and that's what they were built for, uh, made for were cars. And uh, this whole notion that uh, we should just take our bicycles and, you know, what, and, and horse drawn the carts too, I mean, it, it, this is a modern world. Uh, this is done in other countries who don't have automobiles or have very few automobiles. But uh, in this country, it's it's, it's an automobile uh, country. And uh, uh, why endanger these people? I'm not saying that they're in danger with the uh, bicycle lane, but uh, they've caused another problem that's really great. Is uh, the shops are closing. They just they're not getting the people. They they have a certain amount of clientele, and as long as uh, nothing's in there, road construction can wipe out. Uh, they'll do road construct for a year, sometimes two years, and the business is finished. And uh, I, what I would like to see, I would like to see wherever you want to put a, a, a bicycle lane in, uh, that shop has a right to uh, sue the government and receive all monies for the value of that business plus all monies that would have been made in the future right to the day they die to get a, pay, a check every month and that would be right because you can't just make a decision and kill somebody's livelihood this is not right anyways that's my opinion see it